A switch gain programmable instrumentation amplifier is explained in this video. This circuit is implemented with three operational amplifiers, op amp 1, op amp 2, and op amp 3, in addition to two simple analog multiplexers or analog switches controlled with a common 2 bit that then will point the position of the switch to either A, B, C, D, and it's common also for the lower switch A, B, C, D. There are two input voltages, V1 and V2, as shown in this circuit, connected to the positive input terminal or non-inverting terminal of, of op amp 1 and op amp 2. The output voltage is the output of the third op amp, and then we have a number of resistors in the circuit, most of them 18 kilo ohm, that makes the design of circuit simpler. We want to see how the circuit is working, and then we want to find out the output voltage as a function of the two input voltages, and hence, most importantly, what is the gain of the circuit as V out divided by V1 minus V2. I want to show that with the switchable gain, we can realize gains of 1x, 10x, 100x, and 1000. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I'm going to, sh I'm going to show that the gain is going to be one of these uh, possible choices, depending on the positioning of the analog switch which is in, uh, in, interesting because we can realize uh, t three decades of gain by just a two bit control. So let's just uh, also mention about the situation with respect to analog multiplexer or switch. So there are two control bits. So for the control bits, I'm gonna make the assumption that the possible values as expected would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now, let's make the assumption that when we are setting the control bits to 0, 0, the position of switch is A, then B, C, D, and for A, B, C, D are the ones that I have shown. And the last column, which is the answer, we want to find what is the gain of the circuit then corresponding to each of these four scenarios. Okay, so let's uh, make the assumption that op amps are properly biased, so positive negative supply voltages, let's say plus minus 10 volt are applied as an example, or 5 volt. And then we can see that for all op amps, we have negative feedback. So output of the op amp connected to negative or inverting terminal. And for the third op amp in the instrumentation amplifier, we have the negative terminal being dominant, negative feedback being dominant one. So for the op amps, basically, we can say they are all in linear region enforced by the negative feedback. And therefore, as a result, we have virtual short and force, which means the voltage at positive and voltage at negative terminal for each op amp should be equal to each other. So if we apply V2 at positive terminal of op amp 1, that V2 should appear at negative terminal as well. If we apply V1 at the positive terminal of op amp 2, that V1 should appear at negative terminal as well. Okay, so now let's investigate uh, the first case. We have control bit 0, 0, analog switch pointing to position A. So I'm going to just uh, draw that exactly. The pointer should point to position A now. There you go. And the same thing should happen for the second analog switch pointing to position A as well. As I said, both switches are sharing the same 2-bit control. Now, it's clear that in this situation, the negative terminal of the neg negative input terminal of the op amp one and two clearly connected to their outputs, forming effectively buffers for the op amps. So to show it quickly, I'm ha I am having the miniature uh, version of uh, the uh, the schematic of the circuit here. So now what we have, just to show this on this uh, little schematic, I'm going to show V2 and V1. Effectively, there is a connection directly to the output, so op amp 1 and 2 are forming as just simple buffers. And a total of a series of seven resistors, 18 kilo ohm, 1.8 kilo ohm, and 180 and 40 are just appearing between the negative terminals, and we don't care about that. So the total resistor here is now the sum of all resistors as shown at the input of the circuit, sum of all uh, let's say, resistors highlighted, these resistors. Okay, so with that said, the only thing I care is these op amps are in formation of a buffer, so V2 should be at negative terminal, so V2 is at output, and then V1 at negative terminal, and V1 at the output. And then because 18 kilo ohm and 18 kilo ohm are in series, therefore the V1 over 2 appears in the 
in between node and then because of virtual short it means that v1 over 2 should appear at the negative terminal as well and then we have a current going through these 18 kilo ohm there is nothing that go, can go or come out of the input terminal of op amp because of infinite impedance therefore since 18 kilo ohm and 18 kilo ohm on top are the same it means that we should have the and this current is the same as well it means we should have the same voltage drop across these so uh, let's say this voltage and this voltage should be the same and we can write that voltage exactly so the first one is v2 minus midpoint is v1 over 2 and should be equal to the second voltage drop across the second 8k which is v1 over 2 minus v out so therefore as a result the summary would be i get v out equal to v1 minus v2 so that means as a result v out over v1 minus v2 which is the gain of the circuit is equal to one so this is when uh, control bits so this analysis is when control bits are at position z are at value zero zero okay so with that scenario we're going to get gain of one so with this setup we get gain of one now what happens if the control bit the two control bits we have they are uh, let's say the next option which is zero one therefore pointing the analog switch to position b so i'm going to write zero one so in this case the first one was uh, position a here the second one is effectively we are saying analog switch or analog multiplexer is pointing to position b so i have another again copy of the schematic available so there you go in this setup what we're going to have now is this situation so we have voltage v2 we have voltage v1 and then the interesting thing is the placement or the positioning of the pointer now is going to be to position b let me change the color to something that is visible to there you go so it should be position b for the lower switch and position b for the upper switch as i'm showing here and then as a result what we see is from negative terminal of op amp one there is 18 kilo ohm to this output so i'm going to just exactly do that and from negative terminal of op amp two there is 18 kilo ohm to its output so i'm going to exactly write it so we're going to have 18 kilo ohm and 18 kilo ohm and then the next thing we have is now between the negative terminals of the two op amp we have a series of five resistors uh, 1.8 180 40 and again 180 and 1.8 so i'm going to write effectively that there is a resistor r here now and this resistor r this time i'm going to compute it here so r is equal to uh, two times 1.8 kilo ohm plus two times 180 ohm so this one is 1.8 kilo ohm and plus 40 which is effectively just four kilo ohm okay so uh, that's interesting so we have a 40 four kilo ohm here and then we have 18 and 18 there so what we are going to compute as a result of this if we refer to this voltage vx and this voltage vy uh, we're gonna get vx or let's say we're gonna get vy minus vx equal to just simply the voltage here as uh, the voltage at the negative terminal is v2 the voltage at, neg at the at the negative terminal of op amp 2 is v1 so the voltage drop across r is v2 minus v1 so we can find or let's say if we look at it this way it will be v1 minus v2 so we can find vy minus vx to be just a scale up of that because the current flows like this because the input terminals of op amp do not draw any current so now we have effectively a total of 18k plus 4k 
the you can see in the path of this current we have 18k plus 4k plus 18k again and then divide by 4k times uh, v1 minus v2 the voltage drop across the resistor r with the polarity that is shown so as a result we're going to get vy minus vx equal to numerator is 40k divided by 4k is 10 so 10 times v1 minus v2 and the rest of the circuit meaning that uh, from vy minus vx to the output is as we computed before so uh, we can also say uh, this is equal to output because we previously showed that v uh, at the output of op amp 2 minus at the output of op amp 1 to the output as a gain of 1. So this is equal to just V out. There you go. So we realize the situation that gain is 10. Gain of the circuit for uh, this setup. Now if we do uh, one further investigation, let's say if we do for 1, 0, position C, what we have, we can set the control bits now to value 1, 0, so that the analog multiplexer or analog switch, uh, they point to position, let's say, C. For this setup, again, I have a copy of the schematic here, so I am going to use it. There you go. So I'm going to copy it here. And for this situation, we have very similar to what we saw in uh, in the control bit zero one previous case so we have again i'm going to change the uh, so that we can see it i'm going to change the uh, the pointers so that they properly point to position c so here here we go so here we go and for both switches there as i said they share the the, the the common two two bit control so there you go now we have uh, for op amp one we have this connection, so a series of 1.8K and 18K in the feedback path for uh, connection from negative terminal to the output, and the same thing for op amp 2. For op amp 2, we have from negative terminal via 1.8K, via 18K, we have a connection to the output. So as a result of that, what I'm going to show, we have this resistor, and we have this resistor, and the value of them, as I said, is 1.8K plus 180 ohm for both of them sorry plus uh 118 kilo ohm. so that's the value of the feedback uh, resistors and then for the connection let me also highlight the voltages as they are so v1 applied here and therefore v1 uh, because of virtual short at the negative terminal as well now for the resistor between the negative terminals of the op amp number one and two we have a uh, resistor R again, but this R is now different value. So R in this case is, let me show. So here from negative terminal, we have 180 plus 40 plus 180 and then to the negative terminal. So that means we have just 180 plus 40 plus 180, which means 400. So I'm going to write just what we found 180 times 2 plus 40 which is 400 ohm great and uh, but the total here is again uh, between the let's say that outputs of the two op amp one and two which we refer to as vx and vy is now still 40k so effectively what we get is v out which is equal to vy minus vx because of uh, the rest of the circuit having a gain of one is equal to now uh, it will be exactly as before so we have uh, effectively just 18k plus 1.8k plus uh, 400 times two because there are two of them one two and then plus r which in this case plus r is plus 400 ohm divide by the r so 400 ohm times v1 minus v2 well the nice thing is the numerator is again 40k but the denominator is now 400 previously the denominator was 4k 
So as a result, what we're going to get in this example is we are going to get V out is equal to um, 100 times V1 minus V2. So it means the gain of this circuit now is, which is V out over V1 minus V2 is equal to 100, the voltage gain. So that is effectively 40 dB gain. 20 log what we find, 20 log base 10. With the same sort of argument, we can continue and uh, with the so same sort of analysis, we can show that if we go with the positioning of the, the value of control bits 1, 1, which then analog switch or analog multiplexer position, uh, point to position D, then uh, I'm going to show it as well. So there you go. I'm going to erase the current pointers. I'm going to just point them to position D. So now what happens is we have... Uh, the situation that uh, the connection between the negative terminal, so you can see if I trace it from here, we have this connection from the negative terminal of op amp 1 to its output, which means a series of uh, one, 18k, 1.8k, and 180. The same thing for the other op amp. So we have the series of the same three resistors from negative terminal to the output, and then just 40 ohm between the negative terminal of op amp 1 and negative terminal of op amp 2 which uh, would result in gain of 1000 so uh, that would be the i'm going to write these gains so effectively we realized gain of 1 gain of 10 so we realized gain of 1 gain of 10 gain of 100 and finally gain of 1000 uh, so that would be 0 dB, 20 dB, 40 dB, and 60 dB gain realized with this setup. I hope this example is helpful in terms of uh, showing how we can use just three op amps and uh, two simple analog switches with 2-bit control and a number of uh, mostly the same value 18 kilo ohm resistors to realize uh, a sizable or let's say um, a considerable wide range of uh, gain for the instrumentation amplifier with switchable with switch gain thanks for watching